Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash just no mill. In today's episode, just no mom decided it was time to shut down my wedding early, she wanted to look loving enough to help take down yet hateful enough to skip town to make it back home early. Mom crushes sibling event because she feels excluded, proceeds to have a power trip at the event. Crazy MIL's ridiculous behavior at birthday party. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Just no mom decided it was time to shut down my wedding early, she wanted to look loving enough to help take down yet hateful enough to skip town to make it back home early. NSFW, use explicit language. Warning. This is a long story, so buckle up folks. My mom had it in her head that we were going to shut down the wedding before 10 p.m. Mother the narcissist decided to tell the event coordinator and the DJ to cut it off an hour and a half early on our wedding night. Husband and I were so confused why guests were leaving in flocks. It didn't occur to us that my mom had taken it upon herself to corral guests and kick them out. The audacity she had to do such a ballsy move especially for only paying for the dress and indirectly the beer is immeasurable. My parents' contributions were only a small fraction of the overall wedding tab, yet she felt entitled to call shots and ruined my wedding night. I, I raged with a single sentence why would mom do this when I finally asked what was going on. I started hysterically crying and hiding away to avoid anyone seeing me. My niece and sister followed me and held me until I calmed down enough. My sister can be a just maybe but she truly brought faith back to me enough for her to go back to a justice for now. I'm almost certain enough extended family saw me crying hysterically as they were taking off table clothes and centerpieces to help with takedown. After I calmed down from the angry tears, I let my mom have it. In two sentences, I had her off her high horse and told her why her actions were wrong in as little words as possible. You didn't pay for this wedding and you don't get to call the shots. I couldn't make myself express my anger any more than that. I had to walk away and avoid her advances to initiate contact for her to likely unapologetically defend herself and continue to lie. I would have gone even more ballistic, but I just wanted to walk back to dance with the few friends in Jorge who decided to stay. We told told the DJ to restart the music because we paid until 11 p.m., not until 9.30. Unfortunately, my mom did get a few words in before I walked away. She commenced to lie to me and said it wasn't her idea to shut down early. That those people, the event coordinator and DJ, went up to her and asked her if they should cut off early. The event staff were directed ahead of time about my timeline, were given copies, and should have known better than to listen to her. Apparently, my mom was able to manipulate the event staff to think that this was what I wanted. I mean the event coordinator did double-check with me to ask if it was my wishes, but by the time she did ask me it was way too late to actually make a difference. But, I had everything detailed in my planning binder for the most part including the timeline. Some time passed and my dad gathered me to finalize that they had everything packed for us. The immediate family understood that they overstayed their welcome. They needed to leave with their tails tucked between their legs. At least, I hope that is how it was viewed. I mean my family haphazardly packed everything and stuffed it into my husband's compact SUV. I appreciate their efforts. It just would have been nice to change out of my dress and take my contacts out to take things down at my own pace but that was out of the question by that point. My clothes and products were shoved somewhere in the middle of the vehicle. My husband and I ended up having to return items that belonged to the venue the next day and important things that belonged to us were thrown away that was too small to be seen within our boxes. Even our wedding license, despite being protected in the binder, was bent and wrinkled. I was so livid. Next day, I spoke to venue owner, who left the venue to be in the charge of the event coordinator, to discuss dropping off her vases and easels we brought home and she enlightened me on something. The owner overheard my mom earlier in the day while we were still setting up saying I think this might be plenty of alcohol before we close it up 10pm. 
A statement made while obnoxiously inventorying the cases of beer and bottles of wine and liquor that had just arrived during the setup phase of the wedding. The venue owner walked over to mom, corrected her by saying that we are actually closing down around 11, and went as far as to show her the printed timeline I gave her. So my mom had a warning. She must have convinced herself that no matter what she would have her way and nobody was going to tell her no. In hindsight, I wonder why the venue owner didn't caution the event coordinator of what my mom said and what she may do, but it's hard to say if anything could have stopped my mom from being a manipulative piece of shit. My mom made a fuss prior to the wedding worrying about if we would have plenty of food and booze. Forbid, her daughter's wedding is gossiped about and ridiculed for having run out of these amenities provided at my husband and my expense. Yet, she was in such a hurry to go back home from the faraway wedding that she shut things down at 9.30, forever ruining her relationship with her youngest daughter. She screwed up and enough extended family heard my rightful fiery. I hope her self-image is shattered at the price of having the convenience of going home early. My siblings' weddings were back in the hometown and they partied all the way to 1 to 2 a.m. I'm beyond angry. While ruminating to my husband during our drive to the airport, I said I would throw salt on the earth she stood on and set it on fire. Maybe I am a bit dark and twisted from many horror films and love for rock and goth culture, but I couldn't explain what I wanted to do more than that. Although my wimpy ass won't admit to those feelings or thoughts of action to anyone except my husband and you strangers on the internet. Please send positive vibes while I try to heal. I've set my boundaries down to cease communication and that my mom needs to seek professional help. Even her friends and co-workers have noticed in recent years her behavior is getting to be much. She's always been a two-faced POS, but as she gets older she has been bleeding her narcissism into her social life rather than just at home. Note, sorry if there's any typos or confusion. I wrote this post in a state of rage and likely without proof reading it well enough. Honey I'd be chasing this up with the DJ and wedding coordinator. You had written contract and instructions until 11 p.m. That's breach of contract on their part. This is a good point. Their contract was with you, not your mom. I would look into breach of contract with both parties. I think this is really important. They should be going back to the person that has the contract, not any randomer. Let me teach you something, my gothy friend. There's a very simple banishing spell that I think you will like. It works every time. You know how salt is purifying? When you see someone you don't want to deal with and they come over to talk to you, pull some salt out of your pocket, chuck it in their face and scream go away demon. And walk away. Rinse and repeat if needed. I don't remember Sam and Dean trying this one but I like it. Ah yes, the pocket sand spell. Highly effective. I'm a wedding planner. Read your contacts. You want to see if they have anything in them about a decision maker. They should not have followed her instructions at all. I wonder if there's a way they can and a bill to mom for the time she took away from them? It's the you broke the contract that wasn't yours and we have witnesses. So here's the bill you now have to pay for ruining things. Send an email to the entire family about what your mother did and how everything was confirmed by the venue including the earlier comments. Include receipt of wedding schedule. Then state it is for this reason I will no longer consider her family. Do not try to get us to interact, I am not interested in mending what she broke. Go full scorched earth and make sure she can't tell her side. Can you sue her? Seriously. She inflicted and caused you serious and ongoing emotional and mental duress. Can you at least take her to small claims court? Your dad too for enabling her, not shutting her down and participating in packing. It isn't about any monetary award. It's about her egregious behavior. Consult an attorney. And then from here to eternity, if and when she tries to contact you, consult my attorney.
I'm so sorry, OP. If, if you ever do speak to her about this again, this is how I would handle it, take this with a grain of salt, not every situation calls for my harsh brand of confrontation. Since you decided, on your own, to end my wedding an hour and a half earlier than I paid the venue and DJ to operate, here's where she interrupts, and do not even try to say it wasn't you, I have multiple witnesses that told me you were worried about it going past 10 for various stupid reasons, and both the DJ and the event coordinator said it was you who told them I wanted it shut down, and you have consistently made every event, every decision I made about you and what you wanted, you have earned the dubious honor of being the last to be told about anything, the last one to meet my children, if you ever do, and the only person I will never turn to for advice, support, or assistance. Your only hope of salvaging this relationship is therapy and a considerable change in the way you view relationships. My life is not yours to control. That goes for my wedding, my husband, my future children, what I wear, who I spend my time with, how I choose to spend my free time, or anything else you think you should have a say in. Even then, I may still decide to never have anything to do with you ever again. But real change comes first. This is not a negotiation, it's not a time for you to try and gaslight and pretend you didn't do anything wrong, or always did the right thing, because it was never about anyone, or anything but you and your inflated self-image. I'm done allowing you to destroy moments that are supposed to be happy because you can't get over yourself for one day or even one minute. It's pretty sad that your youngest daughter is more mature, caring, and considerate than you. But I do want to thank you for showing me exactly the kind of mother I don't want to be and will work my whole life to avoid becoming. Like I said, I'm pretty harsh. Impressive that you were able to stay as calm as you did after such disrespect. If you ever speak to her again, outside of cursing her name, it'll be more than she deserves. I'm so sorry your day was ruined. She is not invited to any major events in your life ever. She'd be one to want you to induce labor or have a C-section if baby is not there by a date she wanted, if you decide to have children. Mom crushes sibling event because she feels excluded, proceeds to have a power trip at the event. People, just Namum, enabler dad, enmeshed older sister and golden child nightmare, 31F, lapdog older brother, 28M, and his wonderful fiance, 28F, me, 23F, scapegoat, and little brother, 19M, as mascot. Also including my DH, who has experienced his own share of BS from my mom. We were supposed to have a sibling lunch, including fiancé and my husband, BC they're part of the siblings now. Oldest sister had made it clear weeks in advance that it would be just us. The day of the event, mom throws an absolute fit. You're excluding me, I need to be invited, and my older siblings immediately cave, apologize for hurting her feelings, and she arrives. My mom shows up and immediately tries to start a fight with fiancé. I jump in and defend her, and mom gets ready to turn her wrath on me. Older brother decides she needs to go on a long walk to process her feelings. After all this, I call my mom to tell her off, and her response is well I got what I wanted, I'm not going to apologize. When my husband got annoyed, she goes in with a bunch of insults, and we haven't talked to them since. Now I'm at the bachelorette party, showing the fiancé screenshots of all the other BS. She is of course shocked and angry we get treated this way. Turns out older brother has been keeping her in the dark. I showed her screenshots of horrible things my mom has said to me. Told the story of my mom's meltdown when I married my husband, etc. I am now fleeing the bachelorette weekend early because when my older brother and sister find out how many family skeletons I revealed, they will go after me. Mom's antics were supposed to be a secret? Oh, gosh, why didn't anyone tell me? You're mad at me for telling? Why aren't you mad at mom for doing those things? Stay and truly get this out in the open. Read the Don't Rock the Boat essay as a bedtime story, over a glass of port, to everyone. And if they go after you, you can always say. Well I got what I wanted, I'm not going to apologize.
Your brother is allowing JNM to attack his fiancée and not telling fiancé any of the realities of how JNM treats the people she targets? Pretty sure fraud is one of the valid reasons for an annulment. If they're at the bachelorette party now, then there doesn't need to be an annulment, fiancé just doesn't show up to the wedding. Keeping her secret is enabling her behavior. Let them know that if she behaves like an AH she will feel the exposure. I'm glad you've told future Sayel. She needs to know what she is letting herself in for. And it's also good for her to know she has backup in you. Or you could stay and tell them to piss off. Carrot I second this. She's an utter cunt for her behavior. You are a good person to warn your FSAL how your JN mom behaves since apparently your JNO bro hasn't let her know. So when everyone starts yelling at you for letting the skeletons out of the closet, just smile to yourself knowing that you are in the right. Tell them you were just airing out the laundry. Crazy MIL's ridiculous behavior at birthday party. Our oldest was turning five so we threw her a party and invited a couple of friends and my in-laws. I had prior to that a pretty rocky relationship with my MIL and we do not have much contact. However, I decided to invite her, mostly because my daughter requested it. First of all, I spent two days in the kitchen and made a meal just for MIL, because she is a picky eater. The first thing she says is that she isn't going to eat anything, because she has stomach issues. Alrighty. Secondly, we told her not to buy anything. I have bought two dolls and gave one to MIL, so she could give it to my daughter if she felt obliged to bring a present. She critized the doll and told me it was stupid, and she brought underpants, not just for the birthday girl, but for all my kids. All of them in wrong sizes. Then, in front of the other guests, she told my daughter to take off her underpants so she could try the new ones. Major WTF. IOFC immediately stopped her. Finally, she decides to leave after just two hours. I asked MIL's husband why they were leaving. He didn't know. Then I asked MIL, and she told me that we have other guests to accommodate, and she didn't want to intrude. I don't know what to do with this big ass diva. I tried to be kind and respectful. I tried to forget about the past and start over. But she keeps being so awful mannered, it disgusts me. Your JNMIL is terrible. She buys underpants for all the kids, including the birthday girl and tells her to drop trousers in front of everyone to try on the new underwear. How inappropriate and weird is that? She leaves early for no good reason, wouldn't eat your specially prepared meal and criticizes the doll you bought for her to gift. So now we know that JNMAL shouldn't be allowed to visit your family at all, especially for birthdays even if the child wants grandma there. No, sorry sweetie, grandma is in a timeout for bad behavior. Go VLC at the least. I'd have loudly asked her what was wrong with her in front of everyone over the underwear thing. There definitely would have been some extra words in there, too. She told my daughter to take off her underpants so she could try the new ones. Creepy. And she brought underpants, not just for the birthday girl, but for all my kids. She might be an underpants gnome but in reverse. You should bring her underpants the next time you see her, if ever, again. The wrong size. The wrong gender? Step 3 equals profit. She left to draw attention to herself. It's the same reason she told your daughter to take her underwear off and the same reason she is such a picky eater. All eyes must be on her and she must be the center of attention. Spend as little time with her as possible and don't try to please her. Leaving early on her own seems like something to chalk up in the win column. Oh poor baby didn't get what she wanted for someone else's birthday. Now she gets to throw her tantrum. No no one cares about you. OMG if someone told my son to drop true like that I'd lose it. Bewildering. OMG. Let her see herself out. 
Well, she taught you to keep in contact with her. Image how she would treat all of you if she didn't like you. I'm thinking texts for birthdays and a Christmas card should be about the limit of your communication with her. As for FIL, if he's okay, you guys can take him out to lunch without his wife. Oh, oh no. That poor man is not my FIL. He is MIL's second husband. She would be furious if we invited him for lunch without her. But otherwise you're right. I'll go LC with her again. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.